And the world Maharaj, is going on. Whoa. Maharaj, you were, you were going to ask Bhaktilalita about a song. You wrote it down last okay. time. Which song was it? <laughs> a Baro Karuna Koro? No. I don't know which one, but you wrote it down. Okay, Jani Kibole. <laughs> Back to Lalita. I have, I also have written down here. Back to Lalita oh, says. I remember. I remember. It was uh, which songs that Guru Dave liked the most that he wanted us to memorize. Right? Remember? Are you sure? <laughs> Govinda Nandini. Uh, I'm sorry, correct? I was paying attention to something else. What, what is being said? I thought that um, you were going to ask her what was the songs that Guru Dave wanted us to memorize. And we, was, we said, Amana Dumati, and then you say, then maybe you said, uh, Kijani Bole. I don't remember you actually saying the name. I just remember you saying that you were going to ask her. Yeah. That's all yeah. I remember. Oh, so I was meant to be asking her for a list of songs. You, 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 you mentioned it specifically, you didn't mention the name of the song, but you said, I'm going to ask her about okay. this song. Okay, then I think, because here, right beside me here, I've got back to Lalita says the song, Ki Jani Ki Boli. And the only reason I can think why I wrote it down was in response to what you're asking. Um, the song that Gurudev said, every festival we must sing this song. This is, I asked Bhakti Lalita this, and so I think that must be what we were talking about. Okay, so let's start our program because the clock is spinning around, and uh, I made a note about asking the bhajans, and um, let's see, when they've got a bit of a bhajan crew, we can ask them to maybe do a separate broadcast of the bhajans in the class. All right, so let us begin with those few verses that we said we'll try to start our programs with each time, the ones that we've gone through word by word. So, first of all, to Guru, to Vaishnava, to Mahaprabhu, and then, then, which songs we're going to do? And which bhajans? Bhagavad Bhakti Tasarvam, and then Kali Yuga, Kale Doshanide Rajan, and Govinda Nandini, which are the is that about all? I think okay, so about. let us let us together say these slowly, and if you I think all of you remember maybe, except maybe Rupanuga Prabhu in Australia maybe doesn't remember, um, but we can say slowly because it is a good remembrance. We are trying to remember the meaning, and I think Rupanuga Prabhu may remember the meaning if not the Sanskrit. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. okay, so let us say together these verses, our mini Vandanam. Three, two, one. What are we saying first? Guru, okay, yes, together, Om Agyan. Uh, so together, Om Agyan Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshur Anmilitam Yena as my Sri Gurave Namaha. Then to the Vaishnavas. Vancha Kalpa Tarubiyas Cha Kripa Sindhu Bia Eva Cha Tatitanam Pavanebio Vaishnavebio Namo Namaha. Now to Mahaprabhu. Namo Mahavadanyaya. Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratize Namaha Then Bhagavad Bhaktita Sarvam Everything you will get Bhagavad Bhaktita Sarvam Ityutsrijya Vidher Api Kain karyang krishna padaik ashrayatvam sharanagatiti. And Kali Yuga, Jai Kali Yuga. Kaler dosha nidhe rajam. 
अस्ति ये को महान गुण हा कीर्तनार एव कृष्णस्य मुक्त संग पारम ब्रजेत कृष्ण पेइंग हिज फ्लूट ऑल राइट नाउ दिस वीक आई uh thought we would do one of the like the very basic things which we haven't done yet because there are quite a few there are lots of things to do and lots of things to revise so this is our revision this week is those verses and don't forget please we also did go through the four um seed slokas of bhagavad gita perhaps now we can just say those two because it keeps them in our mind so uh maybe in the chat box for those of you who know where to click in the chat box um let me know okay so and um anyway anyway you know these verses these chatur shloki these are the verses that uh, we went through so beginning with aham sarvasya okay so 3 2 1 अहं सर्वस्य प्रभवो इज इट अहं सर्वस्य प्रभवो मता सर्वं प्रवातिते इति मत्वा भजन्ते मां बुद्ध भाव समन्वितः मच्चिता मद्गता प्राण बोधयन्त परस्परं कथयन्तश्च मां नित्यं तुष्यन्ति च रमन्ति च तेषां सतत युक्तानं भाजतं प्रीति पूर्वकं यदामि बुद्धि योगं तं येन मां उपयन्ति ते तेषां एवानु तेषां एवानु कंपातं help me out somebody <laughs> yes yeah. they they sham okay i'll let us start again because of my inefficiency 3 2 1 they sham evanu kampatam aham agyana jantamaha nashayam yatva bhavashto gyana deepena bhashvatha tell me what i don't know out of compassion for them i situated within the hearts of all living beings dispel the darkness of ignorance with the radiance of knowledge all right in my in my defense it's early morning here <laughs> all right so today nine nine processes of devotional service and the nine processes of devotional service very often we hear the first ones they say the nine processes of devotional service shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam etc so we just want to make the etc into the rest of the nine processes of devotional service and um one place which is a very good source for us is a uh, revealed truth and page number 262 of the of revealed truth and um basically just to give you a little bit before of what gurudev is saying uh, he's saying well i'll read you just a little bit before so gurudev is speaking When Krishna himself explains how you can satisfy him and you follow that process then you are following the best process to serve and satisfy Krishna it may be difficult for the ego to do this but it is very simple and it is certain that Krishna will be satisfied by it then guru dev quoting the shrimad bhagavatam ये वाय भगवता प्रोक्ता उपाया ह्यात्मा लब्धये 
agya pumsam avidushang vidhi bhagavatan hitan. No Bhagavat Dharma to be the means explained by the Lord for even the ignorant to easily attain Him. But uh, Gurudev kind of uh, expressing it colloquially, Gurudev saying, Krishna says, then what Krishna says, it does not matter if you do not have any knowledge or intelligence or so many qualities and qualifications. If you follow the process that I say will satisfy me, then I will be very happy with you and I will become your property. This is Gurudev colloquially giving this. So just one more short paragraph. When Krishna wants to give himself, he can give himself to anyone. And what he says is the most satisfying to him. Oh, great, right, sorry. And what he says is the most satisfying to him is the supreme way to serve him. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu established this as a higher but also simple standard of devotion for everyone. If we try to follow it in accordance with his, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's desire, we will be supremely benefited and gradually all mundane desires will be ousted from our hearts. All right, so then Guru is saying, there are nine primary forms of Bhakti Yoga. They give us the opportunity to engage our mind, senses and body, everything in Krishna's service. Now the verse, and this verse you can find in lots of places. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Pada, Sevanam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmanivedanam. So this is our duty today to put these in our mind. I can ask who already knows these? If you don't look at your computer or anything else, who can say now, put up your hand if you can say Shravanam, Ketanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Pada, Sevanam, Archanam, Bandanam, Sak uh, Dasyam, Sakyam, ah! Atmanivedanam. Ah, I got 10, but I only said five, I know. Who can say now without looking at the computer? Chinmoy Dei Prabhu. Oh, shaky, shaky. Rukmini Didi. Oh, look, Divi shaky also. Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Pa. I get it all back. No, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's the first line. Okay, so let us practice it. Now we understand we all need to we all, we all need to refresh ourselves. And so the first four is the first line. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam is one word or one thing. And Padasavanam. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam. Padasevanam. And actually, Gurudev very conveniently tells us word by word. Shravan means hearing Krishna Katha, glorification of Krishna, from a sadhu, guru, or Vaishnava. It means hearing about Krishna. So, Shravanam. Kirtanam. Kirtanam. What does Gurudev say exactly? Gurudev says. Hearing. Oh, so about Shravanam, I didn't finish reading at the end of the page. Shravanam. It means hearing about Krishna's consciousness and Krishna's holy name. Okay, so that was about Shravanam. Kirtan means glorifying Krishna, his devotees and their divine pastimes, preaching about Krishna consciousness and chanting Krishna's holy name. Kirtan. Okay, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Vishnu. Smaranam. So Gurudev says about Smaranam means remembering the Lord and our spiritual life of service. This is what Gurudev says in a short way for Smaranam. Then number four, Padasevanam. Padasevanam means serving the Lord's lotus feet. Padasevanam. All right. 
Now, usually we hear these first four, so generally they're already more or less in our minds. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Paranam, Padasevanam. So four. So now the next four. I close my eyes. Archanam, Bandanam, Dasyam, Satyam, Atmanivedanam. So there are five on the next line. And so we'll read exactly Gurudev's definition rather than me saying them. Archan means worshipping the Lord's deity form. Vandana means praying to the Lord. When we start our morning and evening program in the temple, we're always chanting Vandanam. The, prayer, the prayers, the standard prayers, if you like, is what we're chanting. So Vandana means praying to the Lord. We know these things basically. And Dasya means becoming the Lord's servant. Sakya means serving the Lord as our best friend. So, becoming the Lord's servant, but also serving him as, a, as our best friend, Sakya. And Atma Nivedanam means fully surrendering oneself or ourself to the Lord. Then Guru is saying, these nine forms of Bhakti Yoga are described in the Prahlad Charitra of Srimad Bhagavatam, the whole part of a Prahlad Maharaj, instructing, probably in the part where he's instructing the school friends, but there's, there's quite an extensive part about Prahlad Maharaj and his teaching. Then Guru is saying, and through these practices, the Lord's devotees engage in the Lord's service 24 hours a day. So first, let us try to remember these. So, let me see everyone's lips move. So the first line, four things. Shravanam, Ketanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Padasevanam. And, okay, maybe we won't do today as such because, anyway, it's not exactly back to back to basics. But when we're in Nabadeep, we actually... Um, try to remember the nine islands of Nabadeep because each island in this same sequence has a speciality of each of these nine processes of devotional service, starting with Semantadeep, Godrumdeep, Majjadeep, then Koladeep. And Koladeep is our island, the island of Chaitanya Saraswatma. And Koladeep is a speciality Padasevanam. So that always feels very easy to kind of catch those, uh, those first ones. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Padasevanam. So hearing, remembering about Krishna and his pastimes, etc. Three, Shravanam, uh, Shravanam, Kirt oh wait, Shravanam, Kirtanam, second one, sorry, is Kirtan, glorifying the Lord and chanting his name, etc. Three, uh, Shravanam Kirtanam. Oh, somebody help me out. Vishnu Smaranam. Remembering the Lord is number three. Smaranam. We we're always hearing this word too. It's coming up all the time. So remembering the Lord, his pastimes, the devotees, etc. And four, Padasevanam, which is the speciality of Kaladeep, which is service, service to the lotus feet of the Lord. Okay, so then the next line begins with A which helps us put it in the right place, the, the right order. Archanam, Vandanam. So Archanam is the uh, puja. Uh, puja, yeah, worship. Archanam is the puja. Then Vandanam, prayers, as we know, making prayers to the Lord. Dasyam, then Sakyam. Dasyam, it is one stage and Sakyam. So we know Dasyam as a servitor. We are a happy servitor. Something needs to be done. I'm asked to do. I'll do. And Sakyam. Also, at this, you can be a servitor and a friend. This is, in this world, it is happening like that. We can be happily serving the temple president or something and be their friend. So, Dasyam is being a servitor happily. And Sakyam is being a friend with the Lord. And a friend with the, the devotees as well, no doubt. And Atma, Atma, Atma Nivedanam, giving one's very self. 
full self-surrender. And in the nine islands of Navadip, then Atman Nivedanam is there in Antadip, which is where Mayapur is situated, where Mahaprabhu appeared. So that also is like culminating, everything culminating in Atma Nivedanam, full self-surrender. I am no longer my. And on the other side here, by the way, there's a beautiful morning sky. Can I just turn this and show you or not? Not sure. I'm a bit wired up. Today. I don't know. Um, I can't. Why can't I show the sky? Oh, because the sky is upwards. Well, you can't properly see it. It looks beautiful here. This is uh, uh, Udil, This is Aruna, the morning, morning sky. Udila Aruna Purababhage. Actually, it's got these streaky purple lines in the early morning sky. Ah, okay, Shravan, Kirtan, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Padasevanam. Next line begins with A. So, Archanam, Vandanam, then Dasyam, Satyam, Atmanivedanam. Okay, are we ready to repeat them? So we can repeat by memory or not, as you wish, if you can by memory. So slowly. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Padasevanam. Then we start another hand because the five are on the other side. Archanam. Bandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmanivedanam. Okay, so two more times. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Padasevanam. Then the next line, beginning with A. Archanam, Bandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmanivedanam. One more time. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Padasevanam. Next line. Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Satyam, Atmanivedanam. Hare Krishna. So, hearing, glorifying, Vishnu Smaranam, make, uh, remembering the Lord, his pastimes, Padasevanam, worshipping, uh, serving rather, the Lord's lotus feet, Archanam, doing the worship of the deity, Vandanam, making prayer, Dasyam, being a servitor, Satyam, being friendly with the Lord, and Atmanivedanam, I'm all yours entirely. Okay, so while we're remembering that, I'm just going to read a little bit more, and not a lot more, but it's so relevant and Gurudev speaking. So remember, we just, Gurudev quoted this verse. He'd said, what Krishna says will please him. If we do that, that's the best thing. Krishna's told us already. So Gurudev, after saying that verse and the saying the meaning of each of these items and saying that it's these nine forms of devotion, Bhakti Yoga are described in the Pralacharya of Srimad Bhagavatam. Now, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu commented that among the nine forms of Bhakti Yoga, two are the best. Then, quoting Chaitanya Charitamrita, Tara Madhye, them among, Tara Madhye, Sava Shrestha, Sava Shrestha. Out of all of the, okay, Tara Maje Sava Shastra, out of all of those, from all of those, the best is Nama Sankirtan. Oh, here's the translation underneath. All, uh, sorry, among all the devotional processes to satisfy the Lord, Nama Sankirtan, that is Shravan and Kirtan, hearing and chanting the Lord's glories and holy name are supreme. So in Nama Sankirtan, giving here Shravan and Kirtan, hearing and chanting the Lord's glories. So this is the best out of all of those. All right. And 
Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, so Gurudev speaking, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's conception is that Shravan and Kirtan are the vital activities of a spiritual practitioner's life. And then Guru is saying, you can see the light of this conception everywhere within all religions. And then saying about the different religions chanting. Then Guru is saying, the full form of the spiritual world and the jiva soul's spiritual destiny have been manifested to some people in a covered way, to some in a slightly open way, and to some a fully open way. Because of this, there are different religions which have different opinions about the nature of our spiritual destination and path that we should follow to reach it. Um, but what? Ah, okay, I'm just going on a little bit, dot, dot, dot. Chanting the Lord's name means connecting with the Lord's transcendental vibration form through Shravan Kirtan. Hearing and chanting the Lord's name and glories, everyone can easily connect their mood of devotion with the transcendental wave of devotion, the flow of service to the Lord. And then Gurudev starts talking about in the material world, there are always two ways flowing, karma and, sorry, karma and prema. So this comes on to another subject. But today, the importance of chanting the holy name and Mahaprabhu, what Mahaprabhu has given out of these nine processes, Shravan and Kirtan in the form of Nama Sankirtan. So, Kirtanad Eva Krishnasya Mukta Sangha Param Braje. The verse that now we are all familiar with coming to give us our encouragement again. Huh. So is Maharaj, is, is Mahaprabhu stressing these because of the age? Kale Nida? He's expressing it because it's his wish to express it. But we can say, <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it's not that Mahaprabhu first reads a scripture and then says something. I mean, Mahaprabhu, he's telling us these things. And he's doing these things. I'm always amazed how Mahaprabhu, I mean, he's God, I know, but how Mahaprabhu and his devotees had the energy in the evening, they would start Harinam Sankirtan and they would be going on and like forgetting what time it is. And then, oh, in the morning, there's like here, the sun comes up and then they start to think, oh, we better go and do our morning duties because ourselves in the evening, I know, not as functional as we are in the morning for sure. Look, I, I'm going to see if I can give you a better shot of the, of the morning because it's so beautiful. This is morning. Ding, ding, ding. But the camera... Oh, it's so pretty. The camera doesn't really, I mean, beautiful, Maharaj. it is, but it's much more beautiful than whatever you're seeing, actually. <laughs> and this is the newly planted rice fields in front with wow. the, I mean, newly planted and with the water inside. Wow. There you go. It's much lighter now. You brightened it up a bit. Well, I've walked out from under the house. This is wow. where I'm staying on the farm, the little house wow. here. Uh, so on this beautiful. House. Wow. How many houses are there on the farm? Oh, there are quite a few, but I don't, I don't know how many. If I walk away, oh, I would try not to get away from the... This is, you see, it's up on stilts and I'm sitting downstairs there. Uh-oh, yeah. behind my laundry. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to come out. I wasn't expecting to come out and give you a, a brochure tour, as it were. <laughs> Wow, okay. how beautiful. Are there mosquitoes here? Ah, uh, no. I mean, I suppose there are. But I have a deal. I have a deal with the mosquitoes, but Paramananda doesn't. He kills them. But I tell them, no, don't disturb me and I won't disturb you. So, I had that deal in Nabadeep with the mosquitoes. And so I keep the same deal here. 
But no, surprisingly, not. Not so many mosquitoes. Okay, that little tour gave you time to memorize, make sure you memorize Shravanam, Ketanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasevanam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasim, Sakyam, Atmanivedanam. We've, we've all heard it many times from different places. It's just a question of like now putting it in our mind and consciously giving ourselves the attention to do it, consciously giving ourselves a little reflection on each of the each of the processes too. Because that's what we're meant to do. Why? Because Krishna tells us what he wants us to do. Mahaprabhu has pointed out the best things to do there. And by doing the uh, kirtan, then our shravan and kirtan will automatically take place and everything else will come into being too. Because we saw Mahaprabhu giving Krishna prema with Krishna prema, the heart is fully attracted to Krishna, so you've got Atmani Vedanam, you've got everything there. Yes, Rukmini Didi, is it your hand went up? Yes? Maharaj, is Sakyam after Dasyam and before Atmani Vedanam? Yes, correct. So it's Dasyam, you can think will be servitor. Sakyam is, you can say, more than servitor because it's being very friendly with the Lord. And Atmanivedanam, so the kind of they're in a bit of a sequence. Atmanivedam, Atmanivedanam is full self-surrender. Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasavanam. Then Archanam Vandanam Dasyam Sakyam Atmanivedanam. Yes, Praneshwari Devi Dasi. That's an enthusiastic hand you are raising. Maharaj. Uh, Govinda Nandini gave us a beautiful um, uh, uh, a beautiful file that has the graphic of a lotus flower with the name of, of the island and the corresponding process of bhakti. Yeah, that's ah. what I mean. The names of the islands for each. Yeah, maybe maybe she can she can put it on the chat because it's very beautiful. I'm I'm checking on my file, but I got it from her. Can you just say okay. it? So do I mean I was thinking that I was thinking you wouldn't be wanting to clutter your brain with more things in one day, but it's very happy to remember the uh, the islands, the nine islands. I mean, especially for us, I mean, especially yeah. for us, when we're living in uh, Nabadi. Yeah. I'm looking for that right now. Maybe, maybe she can put it in the chat because I got it from her when she posted it. She put it in the chat. That was class number 13. Oh, you're so organized. I'm in very exalted company here. I got it um, from, I'm pretty sure it's from the beginning of Revealed Truth. Isn't it? Or is it? I, I, I'm not sure. I think you got it from from Iskon, yeah. No, no, from it was Iskon. Iskon. Oh, Come okay. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know because I, I, yes, yes. Eat, no, 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 she's, no, no, no. She's right. She's right. It's not from Iskon because here I can see she labakti the kak she that Dev Goswami Maharaj. So it's okay, from wait. Our I have, I have Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. I have. Okay, here. Look, look in your box. What page? Aste. Okay, there now. What page, Maharaj? Not page. Nabadeep Lotus English. You have to look in your chat box. Oh, I tell you what, Divya. You can look in your chat box and download it, but I'll. Share my screen. Oh, I have to remember how to do this now. How do I? Okay, share my screen. Click. Find the place. Click. Share. Click. There, you can see it on your. Oh, box. yeah, I see it. Okay, I can now. Really see it. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Yeah, but... you might have to click on it. Anyway, you can see Antadeep is in the middle. And if you go to the top, and this. Basically, when we're doing Nabdeep Dham Parakam, this is, it's in this shape. I mean, okay, you need, 
you, I need, you need, we need transcendental vision to see the lotus shapes, but this is the order that they are going around. So, Simantadeep, and you see there is a little arrow showing just above and to the right of the petal of Samantadeep, there is a little arrow that says Shravanam, that points to another petal behind. You can see, it says Shravanam. Uh -huh. So Samantadeep is Shravanam, Godramdeep is Kirtanam, Madhyadeep, Vishnu Smaranam, Kaladeep, Chaitanya Sarasatma, is Padasevanam, Ritudeep, Archanam, Janodeep, Vandaram, Modadramadeep, Dasyam, Rudradeep, Satyam, and then the center, Antadip, Atmanivedanam. Now, I mean, if you wish to learn the names of the nine islands of Nabadeep, it is very good to do so. But it may be a little bit much in one day. I do not know. And you can challenge me if I remember. Sometimes I get Ritu Deep and Janodip back to front. But otherwise, I can send it all away. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Come back. I can see all your faces. Okay. Oh, Govinda Nandini to everyone. Oh, you've got. What is that? The is that the logo? I mean the. The one, the one that I sent was from the beginning of the Navadip to Mahatmya. Ah, okay. Let me just see that one. It's taking a little while to load. Oh, this is the whole book, Navadip to Mahatmya. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, right at the beginning. Okay, so Rudra Di what? Samantha Deep. So where's oh I see, I see. So this is actually probably a little bit more geographical because uh Rudra Deep is right directly north. Right. So, so this one's starting a little bit to the right, Samantha Deep. So anyway. The four islands, uh, starting Samantadip, then Godrumdip, back to Ibn Taiko's place, Madhyadip, where um, on the opposite side of the river Ganges from us, then Koladip, where we are, then Ritudip, Janudip, Modadrumadip, and Rudradip. Did I get it right? I didn't miss any out. No, Ritudip, Janudip, Modadrumadip. Where does it say number eight on that list? I don't see eight, but it must be there somewhere. The name's missing, right? Of that, number eight. That seem to be missing. Anyhow, the other, yeah, okay. Anyway, both are, both are good. I'm more familiar because we've had it longer with the, the pink picture I sent a little bit before. Yeah, Modradromadip, Rudradip. Anyhow, if you wish, you may remember those islands Especially when we do Navadip Dham Parakrama, it's very wonderful to remember them. But Simantadip, Kodrumadip, Madhyadip, Koladip, Ritudip, Janadip, Modadrumadip, Rudradip, Antadip. Yes, I remember, I remember. Because I went on the back to back to basics course before. <laughs> ah, yes, any. Con any contribution from anybody or any question for Chinmoy Dev Prabhu? Ah. Oh, any ah. questions? Um, I have a question. You have a question, Dipin. Oh, you heard me, huh? God. Uh, we can, we can uh. hear your the ticking inside. Ah. Uh. Okay, if there's no hard and fast rules for chanting Hare Krishna, you know, right? I've heard um, it, correct. We take Japa walks. Why yes. can't, and um, so simultaneously you're walking and you're chanting. And there's other things that people can do simultaneously while they're chanting, other than walking, only walking, huh? Because everything else is an apparat, is an offense to the name. Because we're not fully concentrating on our dear friend, on Krishna. We're thinking about something else, you know. 
I mean, you know, you, you kind of subconsciously think about where you're walking to, but, but you know, like driving, that was a, a question from someone. Driving, sometimes like when you're on a straightaway, you know, you want to put your hand in your job <laughs> and chant. But um, I was just wondering, it depends on the, I guess, on the activity that you're doing, you know, but that was the only question. That was one of the questions I had about chanting the whole. Well, the thing is that walking is like the natural, simplest thing that humans do. And yeah. another thing is that Mahaprabhu and the great souls, we know that they, while walking, they are also chanting. They, this, we are also here because they're doing pilgrimage, they're going place to place. I mean, you should always chant the holy name of the Lord, but you know, while swimming, it's not a good idea to chant Japa. You know? <laughs> Canoeing, you're going to have a hard time. You know, I'm trying to think what other activities we do, but swimming is another natural activity. But still chant the name of the Lord, but your Japa is maybe won't take swimming with you. So yeah. it's not that we can't do other things. About driving, I mean, I actually heard a, a good answer or an amusing answer from a senior devotee long ago. And it's like, well, if you have to, then and you don't really don't have any, any other time than chant. But if your hair starts standing on end and hripulation, tears flood from your <laughs> eyes like the rain, then pull over. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. But driving, you know, with age, I've become more of a nervous passenger, and I and I and with age, I've seen more accidents. You know, as time goes by, and how quickly they happen. I would rather drivers do that job of driving. It depends on where you're, how you're driving, not in a busy city street or something. Like if you're on a straightaway, you have a few hours, you know, and you're like. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. Anyway. That's all. I was just, um, you know, wondering about that because I was doing that one day. <laughs> I had a long way to go. And um, one other thing, it seems like a neophyte question, and it probably is because I am. But um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about bad association. And sometimes you're in association and you might feel like someone brings out, like, it's not like you're blaming them, but it just something, it brings out the bad in you. And so you want to associate that, not saying that they're bad, but um, to avoid bad association is when something brings out the worst in you. And sometimes it's people and it doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean that they're bad, but it's that you have a hard time tolerating. So you kind of avoid that bad association. So is that cool? Um, you understand what I'm saying? Well, we want to avoid non-devotee association and it's almost like you want to say specifically who it is and why they bring out the worst. And I'm trying to think, you know, is it a pure devotee that you're talking about here in a guarded way or what, you know? If it's a non-devotee, in general, I mean, we want to avoid the, the association of non-devotees, don't we? Right, exactly. And actually, why? Because devotees are the only you know, sensible people around us and everybody else. The only reason to, uh, to interact with somebody else is one, to try to share something about Krishna with them, or two, try to uh, engage them in some known or unknown service so that that will benefit them. So to, but to just to be with them, to hang out with them because they you know, like a similar thing to you or something is uh, not helpful for us. We want to abandon the association of non-devotees as we've read in, as we read and learnt in both the second verse and third verse of Upadesh Amritam. Yeah. 
But I'm one thing is that we should. I'm not talking about devotees. I'm talking about devotees. You, you know? I, I started to guess that too. About the devotees, about devotees, one thing is in the temple, don't forget, and we, I'm sh I know I've mentioned it to so many before. Srila Sarasati Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur pointed out in his just 14 rules, like for the residents of the map, so like specific things, one of them, like a one liner saying, the first duty of the resident of the mat is tolerance. To honor it and tolerate. Is yeah, tolerance. I was hearing that today. I'm sorry, okay. Mark, I was hearing that today. David Sheesh said that Guru Dave said, we must tolerate everything. And he said, you, he said that Guru Dave said that we have to tolerate until it becomes unbearable. And then we have to tolerate more. We have to tolerate that. We just have to tolerate like anything until okay, it's unbearable. So there, there's your answer. However, I've also, we've heard this description. In, the, in nature, every color is in white. Every color is in the rainbow. Every color is there in nature. But, Sometimes, and you ladies know this better than us men, two colors clash when you put them side by side. So, sometimes if two colors clash, don't put them side by side. So, you know, if you're in a situation where your nerves are getting frayed by a particular other color of nature of the devotee, then just don't be side by side. Because every rasa, rasa means mood and um, in a, like individual, uh, in the, with, it's, it's translated as mellows and like this, but all different moods, the two different moods can kind of clash sometimes with people. So if it becomes like that, then just don't be beside that other nature. Don't be beside the clashing part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The women are always trying to match their clothes. Oh, I can't wear that color because it'll clash with this color. You don't put a whatever it is. The men don't bother about it too much. But the women are all thinking, oh, I can't go out in public like that. So you, you wear the, what is harmonious, you try to put together and what's not harmonious, separate. But first we have to try to see, we have to try to adjust always. Mm -hmm. And the ashrams, it's not like you're living eight people in one room or something. I already did that. I know, we all did already well. I mean, all, all of our generation, we did that already. It's true, we did. And happily. We did it recently in Jagannath Puri. <laughs> I mean, happily. And then when you've only got two people or even just three people in the room, yourself and two others, it feel like, feels like the room's empty. <laughs> but we have these ashrams with rooms, with our own space. But we should try to yeah, see the good it. side of the devotee. Oh, yeah. For sure, definitely. Oh, but this question was for Chinmoy Dave. I'm sorry, Chinmoy, I stole your answer. Okay, somebody can ask Chinmoy Dave a question. Sorry. Oh, yeah, he should answer that. I see Rukmini has a question. I was trying to ask to someone because I, I have so many um, family members that are initiated. So sometimes I don't know how to deal with that because they are my family, like my family siblings and everything, and they're also engaged in devotional service. So like it's like if I fight with my sister or my mom, am I committing offenses? I don't know. It's just like sometimes. I feel like this is like a double knife. All right, we are looking, we're listening eagerly to hear the answer. Chinmoy Defu, over to you. 
Well, I mean, I, I think, Myers, you answered it fairly nicely, but I think one thing that we, we can add is that uh, we can also see this as the mercy of Krishna because uh, Krishna is coming to challenge us. We think, oh, yes, we are so, we are humble and we are so tolerant. Your mother is a devotee and now you're arguing with her. How are you going to tolerate that? How are you going to be humble in that situation? That's kind of what, I mean, Atman mean Vedanam, full self-surrender. So we could say, oh, we could think in one way, oh, thank you, Krishna, for sending this to me. And so I can practice Krishna consciousness, turn on a piece of Nichina. And that's one way we can kind of perceive these, these activities, these goings on in this material world, these uh, relationships we have with others. They're all giving us a chance to practice this Trinarapi Sunichina. By the mercy of the Lord, by the mercy of Guru. Thank you, Brother. And Chinmoy Defu has family members who are devotees too. His no. wife. Oh. Well, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> they, they never fight. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will mention there, there was this one video we watched. I think Rukmini was there where uh, this one devotee was talking about how, you know, it's different between the North and the South. If, if a Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere, if, if one devotee in the Northern Hemisphere takes initiation, you know, they can do their own thing. But if one devotee in the South takes initiation, then whole family will take initiation. <laughs> Right, that family thing in the south and in Mexico, although you have, that's still south, right? It's not south of the equator, but it's south of the states. But that family thing, that is kind of influential. Whereas it's true in the north, not so many families become, like one person becomes and the rest of the family challenging them for the rest of their lives instead of submitting, surrendering and becoming also devotees. Hare Krishna. Rupanuga Prabhu, today you've been very quiet. Everything good in Australia? It's great. Everything is wonderful. I should show you. Okay, show us. Yes. We, are getting, we are getting your sun. It's been Mid with you already for a few hours. Midwinter. Oh, Midwinter and it's hot. It must be climate change. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I'm exulting in the sun. It's beautiful. Jai. Mm, yeah. And in the last few weeks, we've seen the devotees very wrapped up in woolen hats and scarves and things. So good to see you there. Like that. Yeah. And, and now your son is just come up through the tree. <laughs> I'll, show you, I'll show you the sun in the tree. Your sun, which started that mountain that you all saw just now, by the way. Oh, right behind you there. That's called Mount Warning. It's the first place in Australia that the sun touches. There's the sun. Actually, uh -huh. just come up. Just come up. <laughs> oh, that's that's it. It's the same sun as well. <laughs> right, the same sun. Yes, <laughs> This is yeah. some of the other buildings here. Wow. <laughs> there. I All remember. right. Yes, it's just as beautiful. But it changes with every season and every time. Something's always changing. And now the, um, these fruits, they're all ripe. Look, look at this tree. Can you see the fruits? Oh, oh yeah. Lychee. Yeah. No, Lychee. Well, they're called, they're called Lamyao. And look, the whole tree is covered. Not only like one Lychee. tree. It is. It's a lychee kind of family. But and the it is. Oh, the mango season's finished. Here, at least, the mangoes are finished. This is the fruit. But I don't have four hands, so I can't hold the computer and open it up and show you. It is a little bit like the lychee. 
But you see, three after three, full of them. Lovely. Okay, so good folks here, the morning program time happening, things are going on, and I made a note oh, for asking them when they have a presentable kirtan to share kirtan with you. What else did I note? Only that. All right. So any, any quick question you can ask me, otherwise you and I and all of us have homework to do and if we already have got our nine activities of devotional service memorized, we can always refresh ourselves about all the previous classes we've done. Anything from anybody? Quick, short, <laughs> short and quick. <laughs> Oh, I just want to say, the frogs I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you because you are very patient and you are so so tolerant with us. Thank you yeah. so much. You're tolerating I, me. <laughs> I am a patient, and but we have the best doctors. So let us keep our head at the feet of the doctors, because they're the real doctors in this world to cure birth, death, old age, disease, and take us to the highest place, the land of Krishna. Don't forget. And what was Guru Maharaj's question? Guru Maharaj asked the devotees, what is Krishna consciousness? And then he answered it. Reality. Krishna consciousness is the reality. And it is in your best interests to become acquainted with that. So, we are trying to do that. And today, you can say our theme. We want to be Krishna conscious means we want to satisfy the Lord. And He's told us the process which will satisfy Him. And today, we've been covering this, the nine processes of devotional service, headed by Krishna Kirtan, which automatically means Shravanam and Kirtanam. As Gurudev explains, Mahaprabhu has pointed out to us. All right, have a good week, a good few days in savor until we meet again. Chant Hare Krishna, be happy. And, oh, oh no, we'll meet before then. Today is Thursday. But amazingly, this, this year has speeding by time-wise for me. And it's Guru Maharaj's disappearance day next Monday, this coming Monday, which is amazing. It feels really like spring or something. And I've been, I've been locked down for four months, which amazes me. And it just, I mean, amazes me in the, the, how the time has gone very quickly. We have to be careful. We only have a few days left. These days, with every rising and setting of the sun, a day is lost. Why do you not worship the lotus feet of the Lord? You see, also you see Guru Mar, Gurudev Govindamar said, everything is in our song books. You no, know, everything is everywhere. And he also said, everything is in Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur songs. So we've got a lot of everything, but we just have to, in other words, there's no shortage of stuff for us. We have to put it in our heart, try our best, and at least try to make sure we're going in the right direction. Then we'll be successful. Maharaj, I just wanted yes. to say that um, our dear God sister Gorangi, she's sick. Uh, oh. We've heard it's on the internet and Krishna Mohini from um, Salt Lake City sent it to me that she's, she just attracted the virus. The oh, you know, yeah. she, al she always served Tulsi Devi and Navadri from Venezuela. Yes, you know, yes, I, definitely I know her. Oh and dear. Her son is Narayan and then she has another little son. So. Shyam. The little boy, yeah, the little boy is Shyam. And, oh. and, and, the, the devotee, she, she, she created this GoFundMe to collect yes. some money for her. And I, I, and I read today about you because she said, please, Didi, give some dakshin to Madhusudan Maharaj for the Samadhi of Srila Gurudev. That was so beautiful. That was so beautiful. Yes. So sweet. So sweet. We remember her very well, and she was so fond, so respectful to the cows, and loved to do well, cow she's, favor. She's 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 pulling through. Is she getting okay. stronger? 
Do you know anything I'm, about her condition, Fran Ashbury? No, she she didn't mention. She didn't mention. She says that she is in in one room with the two kids, and she hasn't been able to work. So that's why she uh, she she created this GoFundMe, and everyone has been helping. So she will get some at least some some money. The kids are sick too. Hopefully not, but she is with them. She's alone with them. And just a reminder, as the world is very virus conscious, I mean, as it should be, to must take care, but also the father of one of our devotees' wives, or like the father-in-law, uh, an active person running his own business and very active, this, that, and the other, came home from work this last week, came home from work, sat down at the table, and psh, died. Just like that. Who was that? Just like that. In, um, in Italy, one of our new devotees is named Purnananda, his wife's uh, father. And he's got a young family, so the father was a grandfather like that. But he was, he was 70 years old, very young 70 years old. But he was very active, sort of person who won't retire. But he came home and either a stroke or a heart attack, but it just happened. At the, ta at the table, he described it, he came back and then shoo, just, oh, oh, and then he dropped to the table. So, I mean, I'm just pointing, I'm just reminding us all that even if the world suddenly finds a, you know, a, a pill or whatever it is that, oh, this virus, now everything is cured, the whole world is still the place of birth and death. And it can come at any time. And as Gurudev said, it doesn't come knocking on the door. Death doesn't say, oh, tomorrow is going to be your dying day. So we're not morbid, we are realistic. So we have our sympathy. Gorangi, Gorangi we know very, very well. And uh, in Nabadi, she made, the, they had that tent. What was the name of what they did for uh, raising funds for the Goshala? Remember, I, don't know. Go I just know she used to take care of Telsi very intently. Yeah, I think Gora Ponima one year they she they made a tent and like did some fundraising if I'm not mistaken. All right, let our thoughts be with her, and the world goes on. Oh dear, with Shravanam Ketaram Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam Vandaram Dasim Sakim Atmanivedanam on the islands of. Simanta deep, Godruma deep, Madhya deep, Kala deep, Ritu deep, Janu deep, Madhadruma deep, Rudra deep, Anta deep. There you are. I did my homework already. Now wow. Impressive. Vancha kaupatrubhyas cha, kripa sindhvya eva cha, pajitanam, pavanevyo, vaishnavevyo, namo namaha. Jai Shil Guru Dev Shil Bhakti Sandhu Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Shil Guru Maharaj Shil Bhakti Rakhav Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Bhagavan Shil Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Ki Jai. Shri Rupa Nuga Guru Bhaga Ki Jai. Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai. Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Acharya Brinda Ki Jai. All the assembled devotees Ki Jai. Hari Nam Sankirtan Shavanam Kirtanam Ki Jai. Nitai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Bo. Hari Hari Bo. Dandava to one and all. Have successful saver days. Keep safe, keep in savor. Do your best. Dandavat.